Hi everyone, this is Heather Lottenen from the Flourish Academy. This is episode 319. Question for you. Do you own a 70 to 200 2.8 lens or an 85 1.4 lens? Do you own either of those or those focal lengths even if they're not those same apertures? What do you think of those lenses and what are your thoughts on this question which my friend Katie asked me the other day. She said, if I have a 70 to 200 to 8, do I need or would there be a reason to also have an 85 1.4? I thought this was a phenomenal question. I was so intrigued that I picked up this Sigma 85 f 1.4 courtesy of our good friends at YM Camera. Please support them. You know why? Because they support us in all of these wacky tests that I perform. So I borrowed this lens from them for the week and I wanted to compare the 85-1.4 to the Tamron 70-200 2.8. So a few evenings ago, or was it last evening? It does not matter. I took these lenses outside and I put them on a tripod. I put the 70-200 to at 85 millimeters, obviously in its maximum aperture of 2.8. And I also put the Sigma 85-1.4 on a tripod at aperture 2.8. So I had both lenses at 85-2.8 on a tripod and I had my daughter stand in a certain position with the light a certain way and I fired a series of shots to compare the quality, the focus, the feel, you know, all of those things. And it was really interesting. Now I plan on screencasting those images soon. So keep your eyes open for that episode. But then I took the camera off off the tripod and I started to play around with the zoom on the 70 to 200 at 28 versus the Sigma 85-1.4 at 1.4. Now the reason I did these two different types of tests, so the first test was very methodical, we're at 85, we're at 28, they are in theory the same. I think they felt a little bit different but I'm going to zoom in and become a pixel peeper on those images just to see for sure. But something interesting, at least in my mind, happened when I took it off the tripod. I wanted to see, okay, is having the 85 at 1.4 worth it? Because obviously the 70 to 200 only has 2.8. But is it worth it when I zoom in at 200 at 2.8 is going to have different compression than it will at 85 on the 70 to 200? So I ran a series of tests with the cat who was remaining relatively still for me. And I found that I personally preferred the 70 to 200 at 200 millimeters at 2.8 over the 85 at 1.4. I liked the way it looked a little bit better. Again, you'll have to keep your eyes open for the screencast where I share these images side by side so that you can see for yourself. Because the question was, is there a benefit or a reason to own both of these lenses? Should I pick up the 85 if I already own a 70 to 200 2A. So at the surface, I think, oh, probably not, unless you really want that 1.4 aperture. But something else also intrigued me. This 85 1.4 is a very big, heavy lens, as is the 70 to 200 2.8. I decided to weigh them just a moment ago and was actually pretty surprised to find out that the 85-1.4 was 2 pounds and 12 ounces and the 70 to 208, this is the Tamron version, was 2 pounds 13 ounces. Basically the same weight. Now the reason that's interesting to me is because unless this 1.4 aperture is so amazing over the 70 to 200 28, I'm not gonna carry the same weight. Now, if this lens were lighter, then I might think, oh, okay, I have a prime lens, it's lighter in weight, it has 1.4, maybe that weight makes more sense to use it. But because they weigh almost exactly the same, really don't see the benefit of shooting with this lens. I think some people will argue that this lens is sharper and that is entirely possible. I will look at these images, I will zoom in and I will check that. But I get pretty amazing quality out of the 70 to 200 2.8 and it affords me the luxury of having 70 to 200. 
And again, 200 millimeters at 2.8. I like the way that looked better than 85 at 1.4. So the only benefit would be that aperture, but I didn't see the benefit. TJ says, I'm wondering about wide angle lenses for real estate photos. Okay. Thank you, TJ. I'm not talking about wide angle today. We're talking about portrait lenses, 85-1.4 and the 70-200 to 2.8, both of which are really nice lenses. Both are very heavy, and I was trying to determine what the benefit is one over the other. And again, they both weigh almost exactly the same. Thank you, YM Camera, for letting me experiment with this. Keep your eyes open for the screencast, and let me know if you own one of your lenses and what you think. The reason I did this experiment again was to answer the question, if you own a 70 to 200, do you need an 85? If, I, if you're asking me my opinion in that question, the answer is no, you don't. And Charlene, I see that you're commenting that the 85 for, for you hands down, but I'd love to hear why. Because if it's the same weight, then what would be the advantage over that other than the 1.4? But again, I didn't see enough of a difference to make me say, oh, wow, that's amazing. Also, when I put the 85 on the camera, I was shooting towards the sun, not directly in it. It was very low on the horizon near sunset. It was kind of off to an angle. I wanted some of her hair lit up from behind. 85 had trouble focusing over the 70 to 200, which I thought was interesting. So those are my initial findings. Keep your eyes open for the screencast. I'll show you all of the photos so you can see what you're thinking. Ultimately, that's a decision only you can make based on your needs and your budget. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.